Bottom of the world, mother... Look across the, the line, look, look in their eyes and you see the dream die. Oh, let's go. Every dish... Oh, the cuttlefish is incredible. ...tells a story. Do you know what you're getting in for? That's you're getting into. That's all I ask, okay? I, I think culinary school is, is a great idea, whether it's CIA or, 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 or any other. Whether it's CIA or, 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 or any other. Bourdain's going to the ends of the earth. Every way I walk from here <laughs> is north. Bottom of the world, mother... Bottom of the world, mother... Before you leave another line of work, before you take a, 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 a right turn in your young or old life, they should tell you certain things. When you get out, you will probably be making minimum wage or close to it for a very long time. That might be tough to pay off the student loan, okay, given that. Uh, you will not be ending up on Food Network anytime soon, probably <laughs> never, probably never. The business you're about to get into is hard. It is a business that, that overwhelming likelihood of failure. It is a high pressure, physically demanding, relentless business filled with futility, uh, uh, injustice, uh, substance abuse. Uh, you will be forswearing any, any, any possibility of a normal life or normal human relations outside of, of the restaurant bi business. Is this the life for you? Anthony Bourdain Parts Unknown. New season starts Sunday, April 30th at 9 on CNN. <laughs> and I you said know, yes. Are you the sort of person who loves and feeds on that kind of life as I did? Um, or are you a normal person? <laughs> that's all, that's a threshold. So I always recommend that before you go to culinary school, for God's sake, please go work in even an Olive Garden, any busy, <laughs> any busy restaurant for a year, get your ass kicked, understand what you will really, be, what the world, the life is really like, and if you still like it, if you love it, if you say to yourself, you know what, I don't care if I get famous, I don't care if I never even see the studios of Food Network, I don't care, this is the life for me, then go forward and definitely go to culinary school. Thank you, sir. Okay. Right? Okay. Well, they go to culinary school, they come out, they show up at your restaurant or, or my restaurant, they go right down in the cellar, they're clean and squid, you know, they come up on the line two weeks later and you look across the, the line and you look them and you, you look in their eyes and you see the dream die. You look across the, the line and you look them and you, you look in their eyes and you see the dream die. We've seen that, right? Bottom of the world, mother... From bad boy chef to world traveling television host, Anthony Bourdain has led a wild life. He was still a relatively unknown executive chef in New York at age 43 before hitting the big time. He's traveled the world hosting TV shows, won a few Emmys, and even earned a Peabody Award. But how much do we really know about the man who wrote Kitchen Confidential? Let's take a bite out of the double life of Anthony Bourdain. His drug and alcohol use For most of his adult life, Bourdain has been an unashamed smoker and drinker. In his memoir, Kitchen Confidential, Adventures in the Culinary Underbelly, Bourdain explicitly discusses his prior drug use, including a major heroin addiction picked up in the kitchens of 1970s New York, which he kicked by the 80s. Hardly a decision was made without drugs. Pot, quaaludes, cocaine, LSD, psilocybin mushrooms soaked in honey and used to sweeten tea, second all, two and all, speed, codeine, and increasingly heroin, which we'd send a Spanish-speaking busboy over to Alphabet City to get. Opinionated. Bourdain has issued scathing smackdowns of Paula Deen, Rachel Ray, Guy Fieri, Bobby Flay, and even Emeril Lagasse. But he's definitely aware of the irony of his position, given his current fame. I think you use the phrase naked contempt to express your whole attitude towards a lot of the things that were on food televisions. Mm -hmm. And yet you're kind of caught up now in, in the television phenomenon. Yeah, irony sucks. <laughs> <laughs> While he's stuck to his principles on some fronts, such as refusing the types of merchandising deals that have made some of his peers rich, he does know how to compromise. He does know how to compromise. Still, his success doesn't mean he's lost sight of the true pleasures in life. He does know how to compromise.
I kind of find it odd the yet another, you know, celebrity has chosen to commit suicide. And he was 61. So they said that um, Bourdain was in France working on an upcoming episode of his award-winning CNN series, Parts Unknown. I have I did check that out too. His close friend, Eric, who is a French chef, found Bourdain unresponsive in his hotel room Friday morning. So that's another piece that makes no sense. He was in France, and from the times I watched him, that was one of the places that he liked. He was actually working on an upcoming episode. So why are you working and so you decide to commit suicide? Welcome back, y'all, to The Real Yvonne. So here's your third one in a week, because you know they say um, death shoes you come in threes, right? Queen Maxima's sister, Inez, has been found dead at home. Now, before I get into this, some of you people who have commented on the video I did on Kate Spade, and I'm sure y'all going to say something on the Anthony, Anthony Bourdain one as well. If you think that it's by coincidence that all three of these well-off people took their own lives, keep that to yourself. I'm woke. I do not need a vacation like some ignorant bitch said. I'm woke. See, you people who choose to stay asleep Instead of considering and listening to what others have to say, you're quick to call us crazy or say we need rest or break. No, you need to take the red pill, okay? No, we're not scared of truth and we are damn sure not scared of questioning everything. See, that's what you're supposed to do, question everything. Stop believing puppet media. They don't tell the truth. Anyway, so Queen Maxima's sister, Inez, was found dead at home. Inez was only 33 years old. Oh! There's another clue for you. 33. Masonic, anybody? And is, is understood to have taken her own life. Look, look at that. Remember I told y'all about words? They matter. Is understood. Understood does not mean fact understood she was bridesmaid at her sister's wedding to then dutch crown prince william alexander in 2002 and his godmother to their youngest daughter 11 year old princess arian queen maxima is a native of argentina was very shocked and very sad at her sister's death she has canceled her forthcoming engagements including a state visit next week according to reports inez had been suffering from depression there's your other agenda. Remember I told you about Anthony Bourdain? Drugs. Now they're saying depression. But suicide is the common denominator here, y'all. A Dutch government spokesperson told Dutch NOS TV that her death appeared to be suicide. See, again, I told y'all. Appeared. That's the same thing they said about Kate Spade. Appeared. That's not a confirmation, but again, they show us, this is what I keep trying to get people to understand. When you're dealing with these devils, because this is what the whole industry is. They all know what they're signing up for. You do not get to the level that these people are. And if you think, for example, oh no, but this is royalty. If you think for a second they're exempt, you're wrong. The elitist, the powers that be, they present stuff to us the way they want us, the way they want us to see it. That's why it, words like appear or understood.
Stars to fill my dream. I 